no gunshots, but they get in low, low. Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video on County Line in FS17. So continuing exactly where we left off in the last video. Um, I basically just stopped recording and started. Really, that's all that I did. Uh, but today we're going to go ahead and we're going to start planting our crops for the season. Uh, we're just going to leave the toolbox lay there for now. It's okay there. So we'll go ahead and we'll just pull up right next to our pressure washer here. And we'll cut the engine. And we're going to go ahead and start planting. So, first we gotta decide what crops we want to put where. So, I would like to do... Well, let's look at some prices here first. So, canola pays pretty good. Sunflowers pay pretty good. Soybeans. So, I think... Let's see, I'd like to do sunflowers, soybeans... Um, corn, and, okay, let's see, sun, let's see, we've got, okay, how many fields do we own, one, two, three, four, five, so we can do five crops, so sunflowers, soybeans, corn, Okay, so we're going to do sorghum, rye, oats, soybeans, and sunflowers. We're not going to do corn. So we'll do the sunflowers and soybeans in field 33 and 8. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Let's get hooked up with this guy. Go ahead and open our door and our side windows so we'll go hook on to the drill with this guy we're gonna go ahead and shut our doors for now don't need to sit open This door. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna make a plan of what we're doing here. Yeah. That one's garbage. I don't know what I do with my notebook. No. There it is. Okay, so we don't need this piece anymore. Okay, so, let's see. We own seven, eight, ten, eleven, and thirty-three. So I'll write that down in pen, and I'll write our crops in pencil, so I can remove it later. So field seven will do the sorghum in. Field 8, we'll do soybeans. 10, we will do the rye. 11, we'll do the oats. And 33, we'll do the sunflowers. Okay, so we basically need to see two fields with the drill, and that's it. Because the drill does not do... See, yeah, we'll just double check, but I think 10 and 11 are the only fields that we can plant with the drill. Wheat, barley, canola, soybean. Uh, we're not going to use this for soybean, because that's kind of unrealistic. Uh, so we have the oats, and we have the rye, and then... Oh yeah, this plants the sorghum too. So we need to f plant 7, 8, or 7, 10, and 11. So we'll start off with the sorghum, which is in field 7. Oops, wrong direction. 
So we need to go ahead and get this filled up. I don't know where the seed is at on this farm. If there is even, we may have to buy a couple. And uh, we can't buy placeables. I hope we don't have to run all the way to the town to do this. Oh, I bet you it's in this shop here. It was in 15, I believe. Yes, there's seed pallets in here. Now, does it have a trigger, though? I'm going to open this door because then we can just drive right out. Just tab to this guy. Um, can I? Oh, I can open a couple. Cool. That's always nice. And do we get the refill sewer? Oops. Does not help to run into the wall because I'm paying attention to this. There is no trigger there. Dang. How much would a placeable be? Well, that kind of sucks. I don't even have placeable seed. We're going to have to buy pallets of seed, which is not going to be fun. So that's a thousand liters, and these are 16.25. But we don't have any money to do that with. Um, what do I have in tippers here? Tippers. Just trying to see if there's not a trailer for seed. There's not. Hmm. Well, because I kind of messed stuff up, we're going to go like this. We're going to put... It's 1,500... 15,000, 50,000. Okay, we're gonna go like that. Just because I screwed stuff up in the last video. And we're going to go ahead and we're gonna buy a small tipper. Well, kind of small, this one. With loading wall. I don't know what the difference is, but we're not gonna get it. So we're gonna go like that. And then we need a front loader. For this John Deere. So this goes on the 4850? What 4850? I don't believe I have one. Unless it's meant for this tractor, because is there a 48? Yeah, there's a 4850 option. Okay, so we need this loader. I'm not going to get that. Okay, which one of these will take, like, seed and stuff? These guys. So this is three, five, four. So we want this one. We want front. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Front loader. Didn't know that you could buy all kinds of options for that thing. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and... What we'll do is we'll stockpile seed. Because I believe we could refill from that, can't we? No. Oof, duh. Um, we may have to... I might have to download some stuff here. I'm a-thinking. That's water. Those are extensions. Those do me no good. Okay. Um, you know what? We're going to actually... We're going to sell these. I know I just bought them. This is stupid of me, but... I'm trying to figure out a way to do this. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead 
will download some stuff off the FS website because I know that there are some. Um, and it's kind of nice you can download it directly th through the game or through the yeah through the game mods um, downloads. Let's see, you know we want object. That's a liquid fertilizer station. Placeable refill tanks. Seeds, solid fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer tanks. We'll download that one. Okay. So we'll restart the game and we'll restart the save game as well. And then we should be all set to go. And now we gotta find it, which I'm gonna scroll all the way down. Let's see if I can find it here. It's a picture of three tanks. Shouldn't be too hard to find. There it is. Alrighty, and now we're good to go. Now we just gotta wait for this to load. Then we can get back at it. Um I do also want to say, because uh, you're seeing this video on Tuesday, um, so tomorrow being Wednesday, I mean today is Sunday for me, I'm just recording a bunch of stuff, but <coughs> um, on Monday, the next Monday, which will be the, let's see, you guys will be seeing this, the Today is the 16th. Okay. So you guys will be seeing this the 20... Or the 17th. The 18th, excuse me. And on the 19th, I'm leaving to go to the farm. So I'll probably have like a farm... I'll save... I'll get another farm video recorded and that'll be your Monday video. Because I'm going to be gone... Um, from the 19th all the way to the 24th is when I come back. So, um, I'll have like a farm video on the 24th or something like that. Because I won't get time to do a, um, FS video. So let's see, we're going to put these tanks over here. We might as well get all three right away because I know... Oh, no, we don't need solid. We just need liquid fertilizer. So we'll just get the two. All right, now we can rock and roll here. Okay. What do I got going on? Ah, that's why. I pressed shift. We're gonna turn around and do this here. Alright, so we're gonna go Alt H, Alt L, 2, and then. What? There we go. It's like, what? Cat just ran right through that. That's funny. Okay. So we're full of seed. We'll head on over to field seven and get started on some planting. Oops. No, 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 no. Wrong button. I want C, not V. over and get planting here. So 
I do have this through Steam. I have the Big Bud DLC. I have the Coon DLC. Um, and then all the mods as well that I have. That you guys see. It's field 7. We need to go right and then left. Too sharp. <laughs> that was way too sharp. Um, so we need to go left up here. It is down over there. And that'd be our field. I guess the game calls it Milo, but. I don't hear everybody calls it sorghum. I don't know what's up with all these fields. Like why they have these dumb edges. It's kind of crazy. So we'll go ahead and we're going to get started here. See how fast we can run this planter. Oh, okay, I see. That's just grass that you can plant right over. Gotcha. So we can run about 7 miles an hour with this, so for turning we'll be able to go, uh, we'll just go 8 when we turn. Oh, no, no, no. So one thing that I hate about HUD Hider is it conflicts with this. Ooh, that's quite the big bump there. That's not going to be fun to combine. Okay, I need to get myself lined up here first so I can take a screenshot. There we go. So I haven't started converting any of my stuff over yet. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to or not, or if I do, like, what I will convert over. Um, I may convert my map over, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see, I guess. Um, so these are the only videos I'm going to do right now for a while. Just because, I guess. Um, but the... Uh, the videos are going to be pretty much like continuing right where they leave off in the previous one. Just because that's what's going to be easiest to just sit and record seven in a row or whatever which is what I'm planning to do right now so this planter is definitely going to take a while to plant all of these crops that we're planting but especially if I'm going like that why not we'll stick a well marker out it's not going to do me any good really might end up doing more harm than good actually if it gets too close to planted area. Nice big BGA on here. Definitely think that uh, he could. This map could use a little bit more work, but I know the guy that created this map he's actually working on another one I'm not sure if it's going to be released or not but I'm sure that's probably why this map doesn't have any of the updates that it probably could use it's like there are a few things that uh, could be fixed but otherwise I see no issue with this I like the planted textures in this game they are very nice um, very much more realistic than they were in other games it's not going to let me plant right through that that's kind of 
the edge field edges on the, some of these fields are kind of ridiculous. Like they're just really weird. I don't know why. And there's others that are like nice and clean, so kind of strange. What I have my dirt set to. Uh, dirt. I want it fast. I can't really see very well with the grass. I'm in cab, so let's have to drive out of cab for now. Uh, I'm gonna do like a couple passes around, probably three or four, maybe do four times around, and then we'll, um, we'll use GPS and start going up and down and whatnot. And it's kind of sucks that he's got all these plants and stuff in the field. This must be an animal farm here of some sort. Like this edge here is pretty nice. Um, ah, man, I keep forgetting about that. I have to get used to that. So let's calculate this edge path. Overwrite it. And I'm just kind of curious to see how large this field is. It is 12.21 hectares. Let's figure out our seed usage for Milo. Milo usage, 6,107 liters. So it's, I think it's like what, I think that's supposed to be like what you're gonna end up using or something. I'm not sure actually. So it is 34 degrees outside. It's kind of chilly. And the ground is 39 degrees. Probably wouldn't be planting in these types of conditions in real life, I'm quite sure. Probably wait till like mid spring or late spring or something like that, but. got like loud textures in that field or something. <laughs> it's crazy. Excuse me one second. Definitely gonna take a while to plant this field and all the other fields. But we made it around once already. Let's see if this is gonna kinda clean up the edges. Yes it is kinda. Kinda, sorta. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and fire this thing up right now. We got our working with, we don't need an offset of any kind. Turn the lines off. Go screenshot mode. Yeah, there's just gonna be more of a pain than anything right there. Alright, 
right, now we'll do some in cab work here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split the field here and then we'll work to our left, finish off that, and then we'll come over and do the right, the right side. Attention is this? No, there's no animation. I kind of thought that that would stay with the window. That would be cool. It did. Maybe it does. Ah, no, those are just solid. That kind of stinks. Would be kind of neat. Uh, I do hope that I have my sound turned down. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, you guys let me know if it's too quiet or too loud, which I don't think it's too loud. If anything, it's too quiet. But, I don't know. That's just me, I guess. Skip a row here. That's how we'll plant this entire field. Just skipping rows. That's how I usually do things, like planting and stuff, when it's small, especially. Because you get some crazy turns you gotta make then. Not sure how much time we got left here. What in the world? I don't know why, but sometimes this thing does not like tabbing out like it should. So like it's like the first time that you start a game, you gotta use Task Manager to get to the desktop, and then after that, you're all set. You can just do it normal. So it's kind of weird. The motor on this thing is insanely cool. Definitely going to be really rough right there. It's going to be hard to combine, I think. Hopefully we can get it. We'll figure out a way. Turn around and walk down to the next one here. Definitely going to take quite a while to do all the work on the fields here, but we'll get it done. I'd like to get, for like a planter, um, eventually maybe get like this guy and this one or like this. And eventually getting the seed hawk, but that's a ways down the road. We'd be using like these two before we get to the seed hawk. And then the Great Plains. Lots of great equipment there. So if you guys are wondering how I'm moving like straight forward, straight back, to the left, or to the right a little bit, to the left a little bit. That is the quick camera mod. Um, I have it scripted on my joystick, or indexed on my joystick, not scripted. Indexed, so like the little knob on the top of it, you know, pushing it forward looks straight. Back, pulling it back goes backwards, and that kind of fun stuff. But 
Alrighty guys, um, we'll basically continue off right where we leave off in the next video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.